Chicago is so diverse as far as like so many cultures living here. I think it would be a beautiful place for Chicago to represent the Olympics. And welcome back to Political Update. I'm Paul Listick. We're talking about the Olympics in 2016. They may just be on their way to Chicago in the Chicagoland area. And we're looking ahead with my guests who are involved in getting ready for this event. And they are Jerry Bennett, who's the chair of the 2016 Olympic Regional Coordinating Committee, also the mayor of the city of Palos Hills. And Dave Bennett, no relation between you guys. No, no. All right. You look alike. <laughs> Dave, Dave's executive. I, I'm his older brother. Okay. Dave is the executive director of the Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus as you get ready as well for this event. And a friend of our show, Karen McConaughey, co chair of the 2016 Regional Coordinating Committee for the Olympics and also the chair of the Kane County Board. So I know recent polls are saying, in fact, Dave, you can report that there's a high level of support for the Olympics. Absolutely. Uh, Chicago 2016 does regular polling of the general public in the Chicago region, and, and right now they indicate that. 84% of the citizens of this region want to see the Olympics here in 2016. But there are perhaps a vocal minority, people who say, well, we don't want them here. And as you all sit here, I know you're all for this, and so it's tough to think about why people wouldn't want it. So let me ask you about a few reasons they might not want it. And one of which is, first of all, all the building, all the development, all the stuff that's going to happen, probably like a World's Fair used to be, Chicago hosted a couple of them, uh, it's temporary. So it's not that anything is going to be well built, permanently built, and we're going to end up with a lot of vacant space when it's all over. Good, I, you, I, you know, I don't think that's true at all. I think when the Olympic Committee laid out their plans, they, they talk about uh, structures that would, that would be a legacy uh, after the Olympic Games. And uh, for example, the stadium in Washington Park, uh, will be downsized after uh, the Olympics take place and be a permanent structure. Uh, the Olympic Village that they're now talking about, maybe the Mercy uh, Hospital Center, uh, will definitely be a housing, uh, a permanent housing facility for, for the private sector after the Olympics. The other venues that are out there uh, will be structures, uh, some sporting uh, areas that will remain as, as, as future structures. But if you look at what, they're, what we have already in Chicago, there are already a lot of existing structures now that they don't have to build. So new stadiums, new pools, new events, what you're saying is we'll adapt their uses and have them for future use. Or Absolutely. That. And it's all in the, in the spirit of, of uh, the Olympics and, uh, and uh, Paralympics. So those facilities, yes, after they are, 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 we are done, so to speak, uh, will be used as a, a, as a, a permanent uh, sustainable thing for the future of, of uh, the benefit of the citizens of uh, the metropolitan area. And an opportunity to revitalize the South Lakeshore which can use some at this point. Karen, let me ask you, I mean, uh, security is also a concern. When you bring this number of people to the country, um, there is a real concern among people. We've been hit on 9-11-2001. The question is, will that simply send terrorists a message? Uh, get ready, we'll just go to the Olympics and stir things up as uh, sort of happened in Atlanta. It wasn't really a terrorist event. I mean, we're not quite sure what that was, but, but um, should we be afraid of, of those kind of security concerns? You know, I really don't think so. I, you know, I think we learn from each Olympic event, and I think that the planning that's going into the event uh, now and that preparation will really address those kinds of issues. So I, I really don't think there's anything that, that we need to be afraid of that should tell people to stay away. Um, do we increase security to the point where, because if we add extra security, where people just say this is just aggravating to have to turn, you know, try and get in this country? I mean, it is tough today, mm -hmm. or a lot of people turned away at the, at the, at, at the, pat, sure. at the border. Well, and, and I think, you know, Paul, getting to your initial question uh, about, you know, what are some of the concerns, Certainly, I'll bet that there are people out there uh, feeling as though they're going to be inconvenienced by the games. They're not going to be able to get around to the, in the region. They're not going to be able to get to work and things like that. And, and certainly, you know, those are concerns. And, and I know that, you know, Chicago 2016, Mayor Daley and the mayors and county board chairs of the region are, are working together to address those, those concerns. And, and what we're really all about with, through the Regional Coordinating Committee is um, you know creating a dialogue on on these kinds of concerns and and initially Chairman McConaughey mentioned it uh, in her opening remarks that you know we're all about you know getting support for the Olympic Games you know we're all focusing in on that and uh, we've got a, an awful lot of support from the elected officials the local elected officials in the region uh, but then we're going to switch to the mode of of kind of you know preparing for the games mm -hmm. and the idea is that we're going to look at each of the issues that are related to the games you know talk about public safety for example and how we can coordinate the, the, the police and fire 
response to to the uh, 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 games, and um, you know that that's you know something that I don't think has taken place in other parts of of the world when they've held uh, Olympics. You know, it's always been the central city that's been concerned, or the national government that's been concerned with those issues. Here we're involving the counties, the cities, and the villages, and in you know coordinating uh, you know whatever responses there are going to be to these issues. Well, and part of that may, of course, is going to be local transportation. And you know, listen, with all due respect to the the CTA, the RTA, is they just need help. They're not ready for an Olympic event to be here, you know, uh, and I understand they're undergoing renovation. One of the new plans is a new rail line that will actually tie together some of these suburbs, but from my, my reading about it is it looks like the mayor's plan for what that rail line needs to look like and the suburbs' plans for what that rail needs to look like are pretty different. So how do the local transportation issues get addressed? Well, I don't think so. You know, as chairman of the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning, That's why we, I want to ask you about we that, have yeah. been working, for, uh, created two years ago, uh, as a regional uh, organization to have a vision for this metropolitan area uh, for the next 30, th uh, 30 years. We have a go-to 2040 uh, vision plan that we are working on, going to release it next year. And regardless of the Olympics, we are looking as, as local officials in this metropolitan area how we can have a sustainable society in the future. And that includes transportation, infrastructure, you know, whether it is light rail or whether it is improvement of roadways. Uh, we are out now reaching out to our, our, our partners in the metropolitan area uh, to create that vision uh, for the future and work over the next uh, 30 years to get it, whether or not we have the Olympics. The Olympics, as far as we're concerned, is, is to us even an added bonus. Uh, there's got to be a role of the state and federal as partners in, 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 in investment in our metropolitan area, and we think it's going to take place. Well, actually, one question. As you are doing the work with CMAP, is there a if we get the Olympics plan and an if we don't get the Olympics plan? In either way, uh, we're looking at a 2040, go to 2040 is the, is the uh, plan, and we are looking at this region regardless of the Olympics. Again, looking at uh, sustainable things of, of new transit, new roads, uh, better infrastructure, better environmental uh, uh, considerations of how we go about planning in the region. So, uh, including housing, which uh, the, the impact of the Olympics, well, again, whether it comes or not, we're expecting another 2.5 million people in this area in the next 20 years alone. And so what that does trigger for us is one of the other gripes people have, funding. This is expensive. Now, I know I mentioned in the last section there's going to be, or the mayor has promised, that there would be a lot of private investment. But that's if we get uh, the Olympics here. I mean, how do you, and how do you on, on, on the Kane County Board, for example, Mr. Chairman, how do you handle the fact we might, we might not, we're paying for it, somebody else is paying for it, it's an unknown. Well, the, the investment in infrastructure that we've talked about uh, moving forward to continue to be a world-class region in terms of transit requires that investment whether the Olympics are here or not. However, if the Olympics are coming, that really gives us an opportunity to say to the federal government, this is, part, this is an investment you need to participate in. This is as important to the country as it is to the region. Uh, we're going to have to get this job done one way or another, but that creates that opportunity for us to, to pull in some of those federal dollars. Interesting. If you look at most international uh, Olympics held in, in, in foreign cities, uh, the role of the federal government is huge. In fact, mo most of those uh, Olympic Games could not have taken place without the federal government impacting. In this country, we have, we have gone in the past, uh, whether it's a local or regional, uh, some help from the state, some help from the Fed. So there has to be an investment by the state and Fed in this. All right. We're going to take a look ahead at uh, what the future might hold. Maybe we'll do our crystal balls and ask these experts whether they think we really will get the Olympics. We'll do that when we come back after these words. Thank Definitely they should because of the economical benefits, not just the facts of the Olympics and all that it means worldwide, but definitely it's something they should do. I think it's a great thing. I'm very excited for the city to have the opportunity to host the games, and I think, it's, I think it can be a very positive thing overall. You're watching the Comcast Network, CN100, Chicago.